Hello everyone. Uh, today I will be discussing the Teaching Lab Program 1, the first program from the Part A, Implement a Point-to-Point -point Network with four nodes and duplex links between them. Analyze the network performance by setting the queue size and varying the bandwidth. So here in this program, we will be using the four nodes with the duplex links between the, the four nodes and uh, the protocol used for making the connection is TCP. TCP it is a transmission control protocol. And duplex link is a communication system where point-to-point -point system composed of two or more connecting connected devices that can communicate with one another in both directions. And what is TCP, Transmission Control Protocol? It is a standard that defines how, how to establish and maintain a network conversation through which application programs can exchange data. So, how it works? TCP is a connection oriented protocol, which means a connection is established and maintained until the application programs at each and have finished exchanging messages. And every packet that is sent from the transmitter, there is acknowledgement that is sent back from the receiver. And all the packets are numbered and the receiver waits till all packets arrive at the receiver end in the same order and that follows, follows the same path. And it handles the retransmission of dropped or babbled packets and acknowledges all packets that arrive. And here, actually the for CCN lab part A program which run by using the network simulator 2 MS2 software and model and which takes the uh, file as a TCL file and it as an input and which generates the output as a truth file. So TCL is a tool command language where it consists of different components. It is a, the first component is to create the event schedule and the second one open new files and turn on the tracing and create the node, set up the link, configure the traffic type example TCP or UDP, set the time of traffic generation and terminate the simulation. These are the different parts in the components where the TCL file which follows this pattern. Next, uh, what is the procedure to run the network simulator software NS2? So these are the commands we need to type for running or simulating the program. The first command is Java J A V A space minus J R N S T two point one point J R to invoke N S T. And next we need to so automatically it generates the TCL file. But to edit the TCL code we need to give G edit file name dot tcl. For example, program 1 you have given 1 dot tcl, program 2 2 dot tcl. So, after uh, editing any modification if you want in the tcl you can edit there. After that you need to run the program to execute the tcl code by giving ns file name dot tcl. Then to observe the trace file you can give gedit file name dot tr. So trace file it consists of uh, different fields. So these are the different fields in the trace file. First field it gives or it tells about the event where it consists of R plus minus D. So R means how many number of packets are received. D means how many packets are dropped. Then the second field tells about the time, at what time packets are arrived, what time packets are sent. Then third dollar three tells about the form node, dollar four two node, dollar five packet type, dollar six packet type. So if you want to check how many number of packets dropped or how many number of packets received, you need to give dollar one. Within the dollar one, D represents how many packets are dropped. So these are the different fields in the trace file. So to view the trace file, you have to give G A D file name dot C. Then G edit file name to create the off file. So at the end to generate the trace file to run the trace file you need to create the off file that can be done by giving the command G edit file name dot off. At the end to execute the off file, the command you need to give as off 
my space minus f file name for example one dot of one dot tr these are the procedure you need to remember these are the commands you need to remember for simulating the ccm program for the password okay let us start with the uh, execution so we will open the terminal window and the first command you need to give as java space minus kr ms2 this one and press enter so it opens this window and in under scenario you need to click on new wire scenario so here uh, we need to do the uh, block diagram with the four nodes because already it has mentioned in the question so we need to select the node l not n1 n2 n3 and we need to make the connection between the nodes so, by clicking on links so, and it should be duplex so i will click n not to n1 duplex n not n1 to n2 so we need to select n1 to n2 n2 to n3 then later we need to select the agent what type of agent sir so we need to click on agent and n not it should be uh, ccp so select the ccp and another uh, at the receiver end you should select the ccp thing so click on any ccp ccp thing and make the connection between by selecting the uh, application sorry student make the connection between the ccp and then click on application application select the ccp and ccp this is the block diagram for program one okay so select the four nodes then make the connection by clicking on the link the option uh, you should select the duplex link then click on agent and select ccp and the sync ccp thing make the connection between them then under application select the ccp and do the connection to the ccp then under parameters you can give the you can change the file name as one dot the tr for the program one and one dot nam Click on PCL. So already we have given this is the PCL file automatically generated. It consists of the starting time of simulation, then initialization, initialization, then node definition. So we have selected N1, N2, N3. Link definition, the click link N1 to N1 with the uh, what is the speed, what is the time and the uh, bandwidth. Later, two styles also mentioned. Then uh, it should be uh, n one two n two, then n two two n three, n two two n three. So these are the uh, links. Uh, create the links between the nodes. Then agent definition, uh, start and stop time, termination, within within mission. So we can change here from one uh, to two or Can be point one two. The start time. So I can change it to point one two uh, or one two two so point uh, one two point eight. And we, uh, by changing the bandwidth in two sides, we can uh, check the how many number of packets drop. So we can. Uh, Change it here. This thousand KB can be taken with a packet size fifteen. Then we should do.
dollar one first field in the trace file so we need to give event is equal to dollar one if event is equal to d then count less less so that d means how many number of packets dropped that can be represented in the d in the first field so print f number of packets dropped okay and uh, we need to run this program so control c this is the command so arc space minus x and then it should be uh, it should be r and uh, file name should be Here number of packets dropped is equal to 2 because uh, uh, we here we need to change the bandwidth and uh, we need to change the state. This is the procedure we need to follow. Uh, this is about the uh, what about the what is the procedure? So first one Java, 
space dark which is to invoke the NFC. After that, we need to draw the block diagram. After block block diagram, we need to uh, you can view the TCL by giving the generated file name TCL or directly in the NFC simulator window itself we can uh, get the TCL file where we need to change the uh, node de uh, link definition as well as the time startup and the stop time. After that. To execute the TCL code, we need to give a ms file name dot TCL. After we can uh, observe the TCL file by giving GAD file name dot CR. At the end, to create the op file, GAD file name dot op. And at the end, execute to, the, uh, to execute the op file, we need to give this command. So, uh, it gives at the, file, uh, at the end, uh, by changing the bandwidth and queue type, right, we can vary the uh, what is the traffic between the different nodes and uh, we have we got how many number of packets dropped here ok and uh, the le uh, learning outcome of this uh, program is about the knowledge of bandwidth change by the change of queue size so we can what is the how many number of packets dropped because it depends on what is the bandwidth and what is the queue size so by changing the different bandwidth and queue size we can vary number of packets dropped number of packets received Every, everything you can write it in the off file to get the information about the number of packets dropped transmitted or received everything so study this command it is very important for, uh, these are the steps or these are the commands you need to study for running the network simulator thank you